So I'm really enjoying using Bitwig at the moment. I've got a little beat up and running here from a video you may have seen. And what I want to do is I want to get a nice deep house chord stab kind of vibe on the go. But one of the things that I can't find inside Bitwig is the equivalent of the chord device in Ableton. So to do one finger and for multiple notes to be triggered. So this video is going to be about a workaround and I'm going to show you how you can create a very similar effect. What I'm going to do is start off with a over here. You can see the browser and we've got things called containers. And you may have seen the drum machine, which is almost like the drum rack inside Ableton going to come down to the instrument layer and what this is I'm going to drag it in it's very similar oh I just missed that let's just come back so underneath so this is very similar to an instrument rack you can see some space here for dropping devices I'm going to click on the plus sign I'm going to come down to polysynth and this is a great analog style polysynth what I want to do though is in fact turn it on to mono so it's only going to play one note and that's going to make sense soon so that's that another thing I'm going to do is to the left we're going to add a note pitch shifter so this is going to change the note going in funny enough I'm not going to use it on this particular instrument but I wanted to get it set up so it's really easy to get this setting up for the other voices so I'm going to leave that there and now I'm going to hold down the alt key drag down a copy now on here we're going to change the tuning so we're going to go to plus four and this means if we see up here the first one is at zero so that's the normal pitch then we've got plus four notes it's kept the mono setting over here which is great so look we've got two synths running together at the same time but spaced apart by four semitones I'm going to drag down another copy now and i've got some little notes here that i've got set up so five and nine are the next two so we're going to do this so up to five semitones, drag another one down here. This is going to be nine. Well, wait a second. I've just realized I'm not selecting that. There we go. Don't make my mistake. So there we go back to nine. So once again, at the top zero plus four plus five plus nine, I'm going to drag this down. And on the next one, we're going to go from minus 10. going to put the caps lock keyboard on now so holding the caps lock too low we've got ourselves literally uh, a chord from a single note so let me just have a play around Right, that's cool, but I'll tell you what, let's spice it up just a little bit. On the right hand side, we can now add effects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring on that really lovely ladder filter. At the moment, this is being affected by the envelope, the ADSR here. So that's over here. Maybe I'll change the front. What about a, uh, a little bit of width on there, something to make it sound a little bit different? Uh, you know what we could do? We could take each individual voice and start panning these. Look, this could be quite interesting. So look, there's a lot of flexibility here. This is a very, very powerful way to shape your sounds. Let's keep that lower one, the minus 10, in the middle. Listen to that. If you're on headphones or on stereo speakers, you'll really feel that width there. So um, that's a little workaround there. So you could save that. That would be your polysynth that you've got that's got chords. So separate instances, all of these separated by the note pitch shifter. So we've got ourselves a virtual chord device here. <laughs> 